All right, so for Profi OS 7, I'm adding a ton of customization as well as a bunch of new features to my prop file. So I'm going to do a bunch of different videos um, just to keep them short of uh, just a group of new capabilities. There's actually more coming, so I'll be adding more videos over the coming weeks um, as I get time. Um, but so essentially, with Profi OS 7, with all the new capabilities between the style code, uh, your fonts, the prop file, um, and the synergy we have between them, it's opened the door for so many new features that I'm making changes to my prop to be able to accommodate them. Um, so, and one of the big things is if we think about our Profi Board Sabers as a video game console, um, each preset on that Saber can act like its own video game. So you have your normal buttons, but each preset now will be able to have its own unique controls with what those buttons actually do. Um, and there's a number of possibilities. It's not just limited to even what's in these videos. I have other ideas as well. Um, and then to further take that to the next level, since we're going to be able to have individual controls in the presets so that the presets can do different things, that means we can expand on functionality. Um, so it used to be, obviously, we had a limitation. We, would, we were getting close to running out of buttons. We had gestures added. We've got interactive capabilities. Um, but sometimes there's controls in a prop file that you didn't use. There's controls for things that you don't necessarily want on every preset. So what I've done is I've made a bunch of changes to my prop file to not only allow for customization of the basic controls um, and adding and take away features, uh, but there's now going to be eight slots essentially um, where your style code can actually dictate what those controls do. And it's essentially, you can pick and choose for all eight slots what you want to have happen, how you want it to work, and have it different in each preset. So each of these videos I'm going to be shooting is different uses of these slots as well as a bunch of new features that are now possible because of it. Um, so the first one is uh, we have so many different animations possible for ignition um, and, and you know you can come up with any ones you want but typically we've been limited obviously to a single. Um, now with the ability of having these open control slots um, I've added uh, capabilities where you have four slots while the blade is off and four slots while the blade is on and we can use those slots for anything but this demo is going to show four different ignitions with four different ignition sounds that are controlled through the the possible controls so there's actually ends up being five total because this is my base so if I just do my regular ignition I've got a medium speed with a slowdown at the end so it's got ignites quickly so it's kind of quick and then it slows down at the end. Now, I also have the four slots set up so that I can do other sounds and animations. Now, the sounds all sound similar because of the font, but the next one, if I want to do a spark tip ignition, I can actually now do a spark tip ignition with a dedicated control. So that was a spark tip ignition, and it goes pretty quick, so I'll do it again. But you, there's a white spark that moves up the blade as I do it. And that's now controlled on a different control that I control. So that means for this preset, I have spark tip set on that control. But on another preset, I can actually do something completely different, uh, unrelated to ignition, actually, which we'll see in other videos. All right. Now, I also have a, that was kind of a medium speed. I have a really quick ignition, which I've set up on a, another control. So that's much faster than the previous ones. And then on top of that, we have all those power-up effects. So sometimes you want your blade to ignite in its regular color, but the power-up effects, it's a burst of power. Now, in the case of these, it's a white burst of unstable energy that then settles into the blade. And I've actually set two of those up. I have a, a medium-speed one, and then I have a fast one. And those are the other two slots I've set up for ignition. So I can have those enabled and, again, do a completely different animation just by using a different control. So that's a medium-speed with a power-up that then fades to the base color. And then the last one now is going to be a very fast ignition with that power up, the unstable power up. So it's a white unstable power up the blade, and then it'll settle into my normal blade effect. And it was a really quick ignition. And the timings are a little tight, but you can set up however you want. And you don't have to do four or five ignitions. You can set up just one or two ignitions, have separate controls for them. And the preset, the preset itself is dictating which controls do which of the ignitions. And you can match the sounds and the effects. Now, you can do crazy stuff, too. Um, we can also map prions. You can have it so that you have an interactive prion on one control, no prion on another control, a different ignition on another control. Um, and it's not just ignitions. There's, there's actually a bunch of different videos. So I'm doing separate videos for each. Uh, but this now, the ability to do technically up to five different ignitions 
um, all with separate controls that you pick in your preset. And then every preset can have completely different things in it. Um, so that's just one of the new features coming. Check out the playlist for all the videos. I'm going to do separate videos for each of these new features just so I can really kind of go over them. So check out the new list and I uh, hope you enjoy.